Welcome to an EV3 tutorial on SumoBots. Uh, I'm going to just walk you through the process of creating the program for the SumoBot. Here it is, and this is what we're going to create. It really only uses the green motors and the uh, um, a switch, two switches, and one loop. And I'll explain what all the buttons mean as we go through. And we'll just, if you um, have any questions, you can back up or you can do it along with me and pause it as needed. I have my robot plugged in right now, and you can see that because the um, commander down here is plugged into USB, and I can see the ports B and C are hooked up to motors, that's important, and that port 2 is the ultrasonic sensor, and the uh, port 3 is the color sensor, and those are going to be very important when we're trying to detect where the border of the super ring is or where the other robot is. We're going to start with... Um, um, down here on the bottom are all the blocks we're going to use. We're only going to be using orange and green. Green is all our outputs. If you're going to use a medium motor, you might want to add one of these in. Or if you want it to say something with a sound or change colors, you can use those as well. But I'm just going to show you the basic um, program for sumo battles. Start with a what we call a weight block. In sumo battles, we always have a three second wait between the time you push the start button, it waits three seconds, and then it will go on to the next part of the program. Then we will put in a loop so that this program will run forever until we stop it. I'm going to open this up a little bit. Okay. okay. The next thing we need to put on is the first switch. So we've put in a loop. This is the switch here at the bottom. Drag it up and you can just click it right in here. So to tell the, what kind of, what, what are we looking for in the switch, we're going to click on this button and it gives us all the different types of uh, sensors. We're looking for the light sensor. Why am I, oh there it is, color sensor. And we want to compare the reflected light intensity. So do you see that? Go ahead and click on that. Okay, this is the color sensor and basically it's looking for um, the difference between um, 100, which would be a very, very reflective like white. Right now I'm on white and my, my sensor is saying 93. That's a pretty high value. And if I put it on black, it says the value goes down to four. So the blacker the black, the lower the number and the wider the color, the higher the number. So we're going to put that, uh, we're going to use that to make sure whether we're, when we get to the edge and we see the white, we want it to back up and um, back away from the edge. So we're going to say if the, we're going to change this to the 2 to a greater than, so if the color sensor is greater than, let's say 20, which will include all the white. So just in case Black is definitely down at number four or three, so anything less than 10 is probably going to be black, but we're going to put 20 as, the, as that cutoff. So if it's greater than 10, 20, it's going to go up here. And we're going to use our first motor, which will be this uh, motor right here. It says B and C, which is correct, and we're going to do, turn the motors off first. We want it to immediately stop the motor so it doesn't drive off. That's the first thing we're going to do. Then. We're going to back up. So I'm going to drop another one in here, and I'm going to turn these both to minus 50. Sorry, minus 50. Oh, let me delete this, and let's let's come in here and let's put this move tank in. Actually, is what I want to use. Okay, and I'm going to say minus 50 here and this motor is going to go minus 50. So in this case you can control each of the motors. They both are going to back up um, for minus 50 for one second and um, continue on. Okay. So this is the backup from the white edge, from the edge of the sumo, sumo ring. Then we're going to turn a little bit. So I'm going to bring another move block in and I'm going to say minus 50 here and I'm going to leave this at 50. That means it'll do like a quarter turn. So it'll turn away from the edge. It'll stop, back up some, and then turn away so that it's ready to start attacking again. 
Once it's done that, it will go through the loop. The loop will go all the way back. It will again look at the color. Am I on white? Do I need to back up again? Or if I'm not on white, if I'm less than 20, then it's going to go down into this section. And that's when we're going to activate another sensor, which is another switch. It's going to fit in here. And that switch is going to be the ultrasonic sensor. And we're going to comp compare distance in centimeters. Okay. So um, we're going to turn this to greater than. And we're going to put in 30 centimeters to begin with. So if it sees something that's greater than 30 centimeters, you can get a ruler out and check that, um, it's going to go on the attack. It's going to go, oh wait, I, mean, I think it's going to go on the attack, yes. It's, a, sorry, if it sees something great, if it doesn't see anything that is, if, if it doesn't see anything greater than 30 centimeters, it's actually just going to continue to look for something that's less than 30 centimeters. So we're going to put a move tank in, and we're going to just tell it to turn. And we're going to tell it to turn forever on. So this is on. So a lot of the time, your robot's just going to be turning around and around and around, looking for a robot. It's going to make sure that it's not on the white, so that it doesn't have to back up. But as soon as it sees something that is less than 30 centimeters, it's going to go on the attack and the attack is going to be on 50-50. These values can go all the way up to 100, so it can go faster. That's something you might want to modify or test. Um, you can make it turn faster even, but these are the settings that work pretty well. You can modify them as you need. Um, and this is it. This is the robot. Will infinite loop. So this will loop will continue to go. It'll always be looking for white versus black. And as soon as something is less than 30 centimeters, it's going to turn its motors on and go right towards them. And it'll push them off. And eventually, it'll hit, see white because it's about to fall off itself and then back up. And that'll be the end of that sumo battle. So this is the basic project. You can have access to Mr. McEwen's Sumo EV3 program too as well, which is the same thing. But it's a good idea to just go ahead and build it yourself and uh, learn it through doing. Thank you very much.